Hi, my name's Indra Don Francesco. I'm the Deputy Mayor of Glastonbury and I'm here because I don't want this tree to be uprooted to make way for a slip road. It's a veteran tree, so she's about four, 450 years old and she's a very healthy tree. There's nothing wrong with her, she's an oak. We found out about just about two and a half weeks ago that she was destined to be felled. Even the landowner was surprised. Um, obviously this land was compulsory purchased by National Highways. It's part of a widening of the 303. This country is one of the worst for canopy cover. We have less than 12%. We have something like 7.2% left of our ancient woodland mm. and ancient trees. We can't afford to lose any more trees in a time of climate crisis mm. and in a time where we're seeing heat waves. The amazing thing about camping under this tree is, is she shields us. My name's Dav, been here for about a week and a half now, doing some of the rigging, making these little tree nests with um, nets to pop up tents on so we can stay up there and just uh, be ready for possible evictions. There's about four or five of us that have been sleeping up there and a few people that sleep down on the ground. I got involved when a friend of mine asked me to come down. I've been a tree surgeon most of my working life, but I'm an uh, avid protester. In between, when I get the chance to go all around the world um, defending trees, just think it's a crying shame how they can sort of um, fib their way into saying this tree needs to come down when it plainly doesn't, it should be protected. It's like a little ecosystem all of its own in a field. You know, we've really got to take it into our own hands and do sort of direct action to make things change because it's obvious that the people at the top at the moment really don't give uh, the monkeys. And we're here just standing up for, standing up for nature.